Hey everyone, I'm finally back with some Uncharted 3. Um, I'm back because I managed to get the game off my mum again after she took it away. I also had some computer issues where I was unable to edit the footage. Um, but I'm back and I'm exactly where I was before, well just before, only I don't have any ammo at the moment so I'm going to have to try and fight this guy with my fists. There we go, that is what I like. Make him go flying. Now, I haven't played this game since I last recorded, so I hope I'm still able to um, control everything fine and not struggle too much. I mean, I am the best player ever to play this game, so not. It's so difficult to aim in this game. It really is. Right, so here we are, we're at the same position now. Shit, they're everywhere. Damn They've got snipers. Oh crap, what's this dude doing? Oh he's ours. That's alright. Look how many of them there are, jeez. So I did actually, after the last episode, I did actually record a lot more footage, but unfortunately there were several problems with it, so I've had to go back and replay these parts of the game. Um, it was a bit annoying as well that the game got taken away, but it's all oh, getting a better gun now. Oh, I like the better gun. Yay. Right, now I've got this gun, I'm going to be awesome. No one's going to want to mess with me now. Where are they? There they are. Here we go. Come on. That's what I'm talking about. He's still alive! Oh my god! Who's this guy? What's this guy trying to do? Oh my god. Quick hide. I'm getting pinned down here. My friends aren't helping at all. Oh crap, where's he going? Alright, where are they? Oh, let's get some more ammo there. Come on, buddy. Wait, you, you, what are you trying to do? Sneak up on me? Well, you're not doing a good job. Fell down a hole there. Fell down a hole. Right, let's try and sneak up on this guy. Let's do some commando. Hey! Oh no! Oh crap, snipers! Ah, oh, that's awesome. I'm hiding. Do I have grenades? No, I don't have grenades. I wish I had a grenade. Oh! As you can see, my aiming is. Bang on perfect. Right, the thing is, if I stay up too long, that sniper will get me, so. I think they just killed them all. It's amazing, earlier they weren't doing anything, and now they're doing it all. That door just opened. Oops. Yeah, come on then. You wanna mess with me? You can't mess with Drake. Because I'm awesome. Oh, I think I just picked up a shotgun. Which one shall I have? I think I'll try the shotgun. Let's give it a go. I can always change back later on. I don't think I've tried the shotgun. Is it a shotgun? We'll soon find out. There's a ladder. Come on, hurry up. Oh no, it's not. I think he's dead. Ah, oh, look at that. Why don't I do hand-to-hand -hand combat more often? It's awesome. Come on, buddy. Yeah. 
See that? Oh. I'm not sure. I'm not too sure about this gun though. It's a bit weird. I thought it would be a shotgun. It's obviously a machine gun though. It's a bit dark in here. Oh my word. Am I behind a wall? I can't see where I am. Here we go. Got him. Must have got him. Now for this. Ah, oh, the sniper's been taken out. Good job, man. Good job. This is why I hired you. You may be old, but you're awesome. He's a golden oldie. Where the hell are we? Ah, oh, I use this station every day on my way to work. North Atwood. Never heard of it before. Look at this punk sneaking round, like poking his head round. Who does he think he is? He doesn't want to come out now. They're like hiding behind bins thinking they're all awesome well they're not let's go this punk's ass oh crap oh, yeah maybe I should have done that oh yeah I should have I'm poning these guys yeah Rambo Dan oh my word I really am pro at this around this corner probably more guys I don't trust this oh you're no match for me my aim is as quick as a quick scope which is pretty quick if you're a good quick scope well, it's easier to just spar Strafe? Strafe or stra? Hide around the corner for a bit. Who does he think he is? Oh, I wish I had a grenade right now. Come on. There's more men outside. Oh my god. Come on. Yeah, it's about time you died. Oh crap! Crap! Well, I can't see them, so I'm just gonna run. Up here, hurry! I did just keep my yeah. getting shot at from behind there. Back up! Back up! Oh, I can't even shoot the lock. There we go. Quick! Open the door! Oh. Look how close they were behind Come us. Ah, oh, the sexy lady shooting them. Quick everyone, in the back of my van. Ah, oh, we're out man, but we've got a lady, so we're gonna pony. Ah, oh, and we're away. You can't catch us. We're in a white van. So then the guy says, well, you better tickle mine, too, because now i got to catch the guy. Ah, <laughs> look at her, sat by the window. Cheers. I'm outside, staring up Do at the job? window. Well done. In a yeah. bush, hiding, oh, peeking at her, time? because she's so hot. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the map proves it. Drake didn't screw around in the East There we go. Just because we've got a map now, to Arabia. Right. the story can continue. It's interesting. You see this, Mark? This is John 007. D's signature. John, John D's D. 007? John D. One of Queen Elizabeth's closest advisors. Everybody knows that. Yeah, yeah, he was a great mathematician and navigator. Okay, way ahead of his time, he's probably the one who invented that. Seriously into the occult. I mean, like a really creepy dog. Yeah, see, way. he signed all his this, letters. Uh, to the this story is just far too complicated. The original 007, yeah. you see, look, 007. Not 
really that relevant. So it was John Dee who sent Drake to Arabia. All I know is that we have to Dean kill some bitches awesome. Great. whilst what for? searching the million dollar question, isn't for and this is where T.E. wonderful Lawrence things. See, before Lawrence became Lawrence of Arabia, great film. He was an archaeologist. And even when he was just a kid, he was obsessed with history. Everything to do with knights and the Crusades. And he traveled all over, documenting every Crusader site he could find. It, it's all in here. All right, you've lost me completely, kid. What the hell has this got to do with Drake? I'm getting to that. See, after the war, Lawrence said that if he were ever to go back to Arabia, it would be to search for this place he called the Atlantis of the Sands. The Atlantis of the Sands. Now, the legend the crops up over and over again under different names. Ubar, Aram of the Pillars, the City of Brass. But the story is always the same. I can see now why I didn't do very well in history at school. Because, um, for its arrogance. it's just all so complex. The sands of the Rubel Desert. So many right? different names and places yeah. and well, dates and times like and facts and figures part, anyway. and... And you think this is what Elizabeth and Dee sent well, Drake after? Oh yeah. You know. More importantly, it's what Marlowe is after. So, wait, if Drake was on a mission from the Queen to find this place, why all the secrecy? I mean, it looks like he went to a lot of trouble to hide whatever he found, even from Her Majesty. I don't know. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, what was that? No, hang on a second, because if you recall the last time we went halfway around the world searching for a lost city, things got more than a little dicey. Yeah, but this time it doesn't matter. Ever... Don't worry well, about Drake it. Only You've got me. I'm awesome. We if it gets dicey, both. I'll roll them. Marlo has nothing. Small problem. The Rubelkali Desert. And I'll get double miles across. The Bedouin go around the damn thing. And even if we knew Meaning where it was, we get a second turn. We will die. We will we'll die. Just hold on. You see these symbols here? Yeah. Looks like Sabian script. Sabian script. Oh, it appears right. like there's a little dog in the, uh, the game now. The Crusaders were searching for the same lost oh, city I wonder where he is. But out of Perhaps all the he's running around the table underneath. Only two are marked with these symbols. One in ah. Syria. Are we going to Syria or France? In France. Oh. No, you two are going to Syria. We're heading to France. Ah, but we're we going to France. Clues, it's close, you city. see. Sure send them to the well, place that's further How away. How are we going to get across 600 miles of impossible wasteland? It's in the middle of the desert. Ride so a camel if it's in the middle of the desert. <laughs> Look, I don't know. We'll figure it out. We burn that bridge when we get to it, eh? Exactly. What do you say? I say what yes. Let's do it. <laughs> yeah. Let's do it. We're going to France. Oh, how lovely. I didn't realize they had lovely... So we're in eastern France. I'm guessing it's near Germany or wherever. Don't. Looks like we're going the rest of the way on foot. <laughs> I wonder if this is what? actually based Leave on a real a location in, the of France. in France. Well, we're definitely Although that map right he's direction. got is very green. Chateau should be this way. Not too far. Come on. Yeah. Not too far. <laughs> right, come on, old man. We must make it to the chateau. Oh, ah, look really at all the wonderful greens and browns. I don't know I where the hell I'm going. Solid. I'm just following the Should've path. Known when I met you that I'd be in prison within a year. Hopefully, I'm going the right way. Come on through here. <gasps> there, there it is. is. Just like in Lord the of chateau. Have you know, more faith in me, Sully. Have faith in me, Let's Sully. Remember this ravine. I know, know where the chateau right, is. I, I don't think in. we should go down there, though. Right. Although I would like to do a spot well, we'll of fishing. Way Perhaps we can uh, get rid of our hunger with a fish. Alright, this rock looks very red. I think I'll climb up it. And uh this way. shimmy Watch my way around here just because. Ah, oh, there's the know, chateau. Sure in the right place? Look at it. Ah. Oh. I wonder if it's haunted. You haven't been reading my books again. I actually had a dream last night and I'd forgotten uh, about this. It's just the original hit me. castle was built in the eleventh century. 
The rest that, is added on later. Ooh. That I had, um, I was in a house and there was a really scary lady. Yeah. But she was like paranormal. And she was yeah. really scary and you'd go down particular corridors and she would just scare the crap out of you. Oh, this looks sketchy. And the dream was truly terrifying, but at the end, I managed to kill her because she turned into the form of a baby. And I picked her up and threw her out of the window. Um, but because she landed on her ass, the, the baby's ass, she didn't die, but she was Let's extremely injured. So she flew back up. Ah, oh, oh, look, Sully's first car. Oh, you got to love that. So she flew back up in the form of a dying baby and I picked her up again and threw her out but this time on her head and uh, she did kind of explode that time so yeah yeah what's this mr. Wizard? yeah that was Why? the end of the dream thankfully I managed to kill her um, she the was very castle, Lord Godfrey returned from the crusade very scary the though according to Lawrence all that's left of the original castle is the square keep in the gardens Godfrey brought any secrets right, let's back try uh, ringing the doorbell. That's where we're going to find him. Ding dong. Ding dong. <laughs> Ding dong. Try this door. Oh no, sorry Sally. Not getting in this way. It's locked. Right, where am I? I can't get in there either. This just gets better and better, doesn't it? Oh, I didn't realise I was so high. It's a good job I'm not afraid of heights. I don't want to cut myself. He's doing all this climbing and he's worried about cutting himself. I'm pretty sure if you were to do all this climbing, you would cut yourself. Be right back. Now I've actually been in a house like this before when I was at university. It was like, I don't know, it's hard to explain. It was a massive great big manor house, but it looked like it had been an old, old people's home. So like, it was an elderly people's home, but it was old. Oh crap. And there were all these weird little rooms and stuff, and it was a massive manor house, ex extremely similar to this, no lie. And me and my friend Nick, we went up to it because we were searching for locations to film at because we were studying uh, film at the time. And we, I went through the bushes, I think, to go for a tinkle. And uh, we found this massive great big house and we were like, whoa, it was, we're in the middle of London and we go through some bushes and there's just this massive great big field with this massive great big house in the middle of it. Completely abandoned, you know, windows and doors are all boarded up. And it was just crazy. So anyway, we snuck inside, there was a window open on the second floor and we managed to climb up on top of a kind of conserva... was it a conservatory? Like a little um, a single story building we climbed up on that and then we climbed in the window and seriously I've never been so scared in uh, all my life I can let him in can I it was, we honestly thought there were going to be homeless people in there with drugs and stuff, or, or something. You good? It, it really okay. was scary. Um, the luckily there the wasn't, That's where we'll find the old but place. at one part, Nick was going down some stairs, and as he reached the bottom of the stairs, he's walking along the floor, and he suddenly says to me, um, there's no floorboards under me, it's just carpet. And he was literally walking on some old mouldy carpet get up there? and Dry. nothing else below him so he could have easily just ripped through and gone falling to his death um, I did film it actually, I wonder if I've still got the footage if he had a fallen to his death it would have been absolutely awful hey. but I would have had it on, on camera so 
Where, where is he gone? Where have you gone, Sully? Oh, there you are, climbing on the floor. So yeah, the moral of the story is don't go in uh, abandoned manor houses. I mean, at one point, we were hiding upstairs and a security like guard was wandering around kind of the grounds outside system. and we, yeah. I mean, seriously, it was some James Bond hey, stuff. Some kind of mechanism over there. We were trying not to get seen. We were wandering around this place and there was a broken elevator. We actually stood in the broken elevator. I mean, how stupid can can we get um, I have an idea I've got to try and find the footage if I've got it oh my triangle buttons not working there we go ah oh, that's lovely oh, that's cool. yeah. right now how do I get over to that I guess I <coughs> jump over to this crazy watch it that thing's coming out of the ceiling oh it's coming out of the ceiling oh no <coughs> I jumped to the wrong one. Uh, back we go. I mean, there could have easily been like paranormal spirits in that building as well. Um, luckily, I think there weren't. If there were, we didn't really see them that much. Am I supposed to like shimmy round this or something? How can he jump that far? Or should I say, how can I jump this far? Right, here we go. My triangle button keeps getting stuck. Come on. Come on! Uh, right. Yay! There. And he just Go puts ahead. it back down on his head. Oh. Popcorn machine? Is that a popcorn machine? I think not. It looks more like a... Uh, I don't know what it is. Perhaps it is a popcorn machine. Okay, let's see if we can find a way to that tower. Now we're going for a random kitchen. Um. But yeah, that manor house that we went in, pitch black, even in the middle of the day. Ah, and beside it, it had a smaller house, a two-story house beside it on the outer wall. And I'm not even kidding, if you've ever seen Blair Witch Project, it was like the house at the end of that. It was truly, and I mean truly, petrifying. Um, it was pitch black. We didn't go in it. That's how scary it was. Um, where am I supposed to go? Am I supposed to go down here? We tried to go in it and it had like this creaky door. Like think of a shed. It had a door like that. A house had a door like a shed. That's just not right. Hey Nate. Square tower. Looks pretty old. There yeah. looks like we've got to go that to the square the tower. Nope. That must be it. Nice. The symbol matches too. Let's go there. <laughs> Doesn't look like I can go that way. Can I get through this? Looks like we can get through here. Yeah? Yep. Oh my word, he is really strong. Oh, thanks. Those pieces of wood look really, you know, heavy. Now I have done this puzzle before. You you have to look in your notebook. Isn't this the same symbol that was on the tower? And see yeah. what direction these That's things kind of are right? facing. Where are they? In a fireplace? Oh no, I've got drawings of the nose, uh, don't you think? Yeah, everyone. Right, where in my book? They must be here somewhere. If I spent less time drawing, I might actually... Maybe I was going the right way. Oh look, he's got devil horns on her. There's something weird about these suits of armor. Come here, check it out. There we go, there we go, there we go. Right. 
So the guy with the shield needs to be facing the guy with the axe. So where are you, shield man? You need to be facing that way. Oh, what a shiny shield. Faces rotate. Interesting. Look at the man on the wall behind in the picture. Hello there. Dear, nice to meet you. Yeah. Right, the guy with Here, the axe see? needs to be Four facing nights. the guy with axe, the shield. shield a sword and a morning star. Just like the ones in this room. There we go. Right. Now the guy with the mace needs to be facing the shield. Night, so it's facing the right way. Get yeah, out of my way, right old way? man. You're in the way. Oh, there we go. Didn't even have to do the last one. We've got the secret passage already. Okay. I'll push you pull. On three, ready? Here we go. One, two, one, pull, or one, two, two three, pull. Three. Just pull. Got it. Pull. Oh no. Eight? Hey, you alright? Yeah. It's always yeah, me I'll that live. gets in these terrible, sticky situations. It's never him. There's no way I'm getting back up there. I'm gonna head this way. Just meet me on the other side. You got it. Well, Be down there. I think I'll leave right. it here. Join me next time when I will be walking through this dark, devious cave. Who knows what could be inside? What the hell is that noise?